In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Action Effects Shape Lace Creator action. Before I start, I have a number of shapes loaded into the Shapes palette. What I've done here is taken the Nature Shapes that loaded with Photoshop. They're found down here in the bottom of this menu. And I've deleted most of them, so I only have five shapes left in there. And that's kind of important because what this is going to do is create several instances of custom shapes and it's going to place them into this palette. So later on, once I've filled this palette up, I want to go in and delete these shapes that I used. So the fewer that I have in there, the better. So let me go ahead and play the action. It says create a new image, 300 ppi at 12 inches by 12 inches. So I'll go stop and I'll go file up to new. And I'll change it to 12 by 12 at 300 ppi and I'll click OK. Now I've met the criteria for the action. I'll go ahead and hit play again. First I'm going to, uh, before I hit play, I'm going to hit D key to reset to my default colors. That places black in the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. It says draw the shape in the new layer. Let me go ahead and hit stop. Now this, if we go back to the palette here, it did create a new layer. But this is kind of important up here in the options bar of the custom shapes that fill pixels is selected. So since it is selected, I should be able to draw a shape and it's just going to automatically fill it with black. Let me select one of the shapes. I'll start with the butterfly and just draw the shape. Now I've met the criteria for that action. I'll go ahead and click play once again. And now we'll watch the action run through. And go through all the uh, all the little steps here. And basically, what it's doing is it's flipping the document and defining and creating custom shapes. So let me go ahead. It says, do you want to do this one more time? We'll hit continue. And it's just defining the path and we'll hit stop the action run through to completion. Now if we open up the custom shapes palette here we'll have a number of new shapes added to this set. Let me go ahead and select one and we'll just draw it out and that's basically what it is. It's kind of like a flipped over butterfly looking thing. Let me fill this with white one more time and we'll select like the last shape that it created create a new layer and draw this out in new layer. So we get this kind of uh, off-kilter flowery weave looking thing. And the main reason it came out like that, at least for this action, is because um, the shape used wasn't symmetrical. Okay, But let's go ahead and try this again on a symmetrical shape. Alright, I'll go ahead and click play I've already created my document. Click play again. It says draw the shape in a new layer. I'll go ahead and hit stop. And I'll select one of the more symmetrical shapes. Here we have this nice snowflake. Let me go ahead and just draw the snowflake out. And let me reposition it kind of in the middle of the document here. And now I'll hit play one more time. We'll see what happens. And again, it's just walking through the process of defining this each time, and it's creating a custom shape every time we get to this point where it says make path, and then it defines it. And ask for one more time, and I'll go ahead and click continue. And the reason I put that step in there is sometimes after it uh, goes through this process of rotating and flipping and overlaying and stuff like that, you get quite a black jumble. So um, I basically only use that uh, if there's a lot of separation between the lines. Let me go ahead and select our shapes. I'll create a new layer so I can easily delete it. And this is the custom shape 
that was created at the end there. And of course, there were like four or five instances of shapes. And now we can go in and actually turn this into lace or, or what have you. Maybe change that to hue or color, get a, more of a gray to it, reduce the color on that. Go ahead and apply a texture. And when we're done, we get this kind of lacy looking, doily looking thing. Um, of course, if you change the patterns, you can, you can manipulate this. And I do that in other videos, other tutorials. But basically, this is that same shape that was just created using another shape. Let me go through and we'll run through this process one more time. Let me just delete that layer using a different shape. Back to my actions palette. Let me hit play. The image is made. Make a new layer. Hit stop. Select one of the other ones. Let me try this weird looking sun shape. Again, I'll reposition it, put it out here in the middle someplace, and we'll click play. And let's just see what this one makes. I'll go ahead and pause the video while it goes through this process. So at the end of it all, after that ran through one more time on that last shape, I have four new instances of custom shapes here. I can go ahead, once I've got enough and I think, okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just be happy with what I got here. I can delete these other shapes. I'll hold down, just move the mouse right over the top of the, the initial loaded shapes. Hold down the Alt key, a little scissors will appear, and I can delete those first shapes, leaving only the ones that I've created with that action. Now I can select one of those shapes. Let me go ahead and we'll just draw it out. And this is the result of one of the shapes created by that last, that last one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can now turn these into paintbrushes or, uh, as demonstrated before, into doilies or whatever you like. I'll leave that to your imagination.